Taylor Swift's new boyfriend Travis Kels is finally telling the world how he got the girl. I don't know if I want to get into all of it, Kels told WSJ Magazine. Before divulging the details behind their relationship, Swift and Kels have been publicly spending time together since the fall. This past summer, Kels hinted on his podcast that he might be into Swift. He even attended her concert at Arrowhead Stadium in Kansas City in July. There were definitely people she knew that knew who I was in her corner who said, Yo, did you know he was coming? Kels told the outlet, I had somebody playing Cupid. Welcome to American Insider. If you're new to this channel, kindly click on the subscribe button and turn on the notifications bell. So you stay up to date with our recent videos, Kels was not privy to any matchmaking until he received a text from Swift herself. She told me exactly what was going on and how I got lucky enough to get her to reach out, he said. She'll probably hate me for saying this, but when she came to Arrowhead, they gave her the big locker room as a dressing room and her little cousins were taking pictures in front of my locker, he revealed of his in with Swift's inner circle Swift and Kels have been spotted out on several occasions. When I met her in New York, he said of one of their public outings, we had already kind of been talking, so I knew we could have a nice dinner, and, like, a conversation, and what goes from there will go from there, Kels says from the beginning. His own inner circle had warned him not to screw things up with Swift. Everybody around me telling me, don't F this up, and me sitting here saying, yeah, got it the Kansas City Chiefs tight end says he did that by not saying anything jeopardizing to the media. That was the biggest thing to me. Make sure I don't say anything that would push Taylor away. He shared with the outlet. Obviously I've never dated anyone with that kind of aura about them. I've never dealt with it, Kels said of Swift's fame. But at the same time, I'm not running away from any of it the scrutiny she gets. How much she has a magnifying glass on her. Every single day, paparazzi outside her house, outside every restaurant she goes to, after every flight she gets off, and she's just living, enjoying life. When she acts like that I better not be the one acting all strange additionally, Swift's relationship with her own family mirrors that of Kelsey's. It's why they align. Everybody knows I'm a family guy, he said. Her team is her family. Her family does a lot of stuff in terms of the tour the marketing, being around. So I think she has a lot of those values as well. Which is right up my alley Kels just recently met Swift's dad, Scott, in Argentina earlier this month. The athlete traveled to see Swift perform on the international leg of her era's tour. The couple were spotted kissing after the concert in a passionate moment captured by fans of Swift's music. Travis said he was particularly jazzed to hear her perform Blank Space, her dynamic track off her album. 1989 I could make a bad guy good for the weekend. That's a halluva line, he said of the lyrics to her song. The duo apparently have a similar taste in other music too. Kels's friend told WSJ Magazine that he witnessed Kels and Swift break out in song together one night at Kels's home. There was some wine involved, for sure, Kels said of them singing Teenage Dirtbag by Wheatus together. Kels's adoration for Swift is palpable. He called her hilarious, and a genius I've never been a man of words. Being around her, Seeing how smart Taylor is, has been effing mind-blowing. I'm learning every day Kels may not be a lyricist, but he's ready to show Swift his own passion comedy. With his goofy personality, Kels says, I told Taylor that I have that world. I've got to introduce it to her. I let her know. This is my jam right here. He said of the comedy space. A representative for Swift did not immediately respond to Fox News Digital's request for comment. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new here. See you in the next